Hey guys, and welcome to my video. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you're all doing well. And yes, it's that time again. It's time for another coloring book haul. Why, you might ask, don't you have enough coloring books already? Um, apparently not, because I have bought another 34. Um, I have to say, though, that this haul was mainly because I wanted to complete a few collections. And uh, as I already said in one of my uh, other videos, I wanted to get some Hannah Carlson books because I didn't own one and I did that, so I'm happy. <laughs> um, yeah, let's just get started with the books. So first, I got some more of the Lulu Mayo books. So this is A Million Mermaids, A Million Cats, A Million Sloths, A Million Llamas, A Million Unicorns, A Million Bears, and a million dogs. <laughs> so yeah, I think that is um, all of the ten. Now that is seven, but I already own three more of her books. So um, if I'm correct, I think Luna Mayo released ten books so far. The eleventh one is actually going to come out in uh, March. So I own all these ten, so my collection is complete. I'm not going to flip through these because uh, they're very popular. They're very well known. Um, I have just gotten those seven to complete my collection, and I'm very happy. So, yeah. This is those out of the way. Now, next up is Hannah Carlson, and I got four of her books. I got The Summer Nights, The Daydreams, The Magical Dawn, and The Seasons Coloring Book. So, um... I mean, she's she's super popular and well-known. I don't think that flipping through these books makes any sense because they are very well-known. They just have a beautiful, intricate style. And I can't wait to start coloring in those. I think I'm going to use either colored pencils or watercolors because the paper is really nice. So, yeah, those four Hannah Carlson books. Oof. <laughs> Then I've got one by Maria Troll, also a popular artist. It's the Twilight Garden one. And this is also very beautiful style, very nature-themed, very botanical flowers and animals. As the title says, Twilight Garden, beautiful. I love the, the black backgrounds here and there. Really makes the image pop. So yeah, Twilight Garden by Maria Troll. Then I got Johanna Bess Ford's newest, Worlds of Wonder. Is it her newest? I'm not sure. I didn't get the uh, inky and the, what's it called, butterfly. I only got her main coloring books. I call them main because they're uh, complete pages that you can color. And the inky and the mm -hmm, butterfly are the... Are like it's it's like a a children's book and that's a really nice idea but I'm more interested in those complete coloring books so yeah the worlds of wonder one is also added to my collection then I have gotten a total of four new mythographic not really new but new for me mythographic coloring books I got the paradise one by Fabiana Atanasio now, these images are lovely. They're so detailed. They're so beautiful. I'm sure there are flip-throughs out there, so I'm going to do this one really quick. I've only colored one image in a mythographic coloring book because these are so detailed. They're going to be so much work, and they're kind of intimidating. But sometimes, you know, you just have... Sometimes you just have to start. The Frozen Fantasies one, also by Fabiana Atanasio. I think these ones are pretty well known as well. Just gonna make very quick flip-throughs here so you get an idea of what I have gotten myself into here. I mean, I am... Oof, I am a collector. So this is the Odyssey one. I am a collector, but I also really, really want to actually finish all of these books, which is, uh, you know, I still have a lot of time, um, but which, which is a very, how do you say, ambitious task. 
very pretty. And the last one in the mythographic series for me in this haul is the Enchanted Castle one. Also very detailed and intricate designs. Beautiful. I think I have almost all the mythographic ones now. Then next, to complete my Kirby Rosanes, uh, Rosanes, whatever, I'm not really sure to pronounce his last name. Let's just call him Kirby. So to complete my Kirby collection, I got Geomorphia. Now he, as well, is very popular for all the right reasons. His illustrations are so beautiful. Then the Worlds Within Worlds is also one that I haven't gotten before i'm still not sure how to tackle his drawings probably also with a combination of watercolors and colored pencils if they were one-sided then they would be great for alcohol markers even though they would probably bleed over some of the lines so you would have to be very careful but yeah beautiful detailed illustrations and boom the next one rhapsody in head balls by kanoko egusa now oh these are just so beautiful i really really wanted one of her coloring books i'm not sure how many she has i only basically know the coloring books that are on amazon and this was when I gave uh, her name, when I wrote her name in the search bar. This was the only book that showed up. But I'm pretty sure she has more. At least one more, I think. So yeah, very beautiful designs. And I also got my first airy coloring book, the Romantic Country one. So she is that artist that draws all of the illustrations with a toothpick dipped in ink. These are just so cute, so whimsical. I might even draw over the lines with a black pen to make the outline pop more. I'm not sure yet. Oh, this is so pretty. I love illustrations like that. Also very well known, very popular, airy. Whoosh. Then I've got the Dromenwanger by Tomislav Tomic. And wow, these are so detailed, so pretty. Oof, look at all these small details. Also quite intimidating, but so pretty. Wow. I might even use gel pens or fine liners in this one because... Oh, look at all these details. This is so pretty. Yeah, Drommenwanger. Very pretty. Then, I also got The Color Me Wild, another color by number book. So it has these geometrical shapes that form different animals. Actually, it doesn't really make sense. Where are the solutions? Are they here in the beginning? Oh yeah, they are here. So I can show you the solutions real quick. So... As you know, I love animals, love coloring animals and nature the most. So these are the solutions. Oh, another hair. <laughs> and now I have a little stack left of these books that I love from the Hachette Heroes series. So I got the babies one and I think I'm going to... I mean, these books are also pretty well known, but I think I'm going to show the solutions in case you haven't come across these books too much. So the baby's one is full of cute little child versions or just children characters of the Disney movies. Very cute. Very sweet. 
Oh, this is so cute. From Zootopia. So yeah, I, I prefer working in those books with acrylic paint. So these images take quite some time. Um, usually several hours because I also have to mix certain colors because I don't have them all at the ready. And I also have quite a few whips in these books because every time I mix too much of one color, I go through the book and see in which picture this exact color is also used and use it up on another image that will then remain a whip until I either get to it naturally, I do color in those in order, or I just decide that I have to use up another color. Oh, this is so cute. So yeah, this was the Disney Babies one. Then I got another one in the Le Grand Classique. It's tome six. And here are the solutions. It's kind of funny. They forgot her eyebrows. I think I'm, I'm just going to have to draw them in myself because uh, a person without eyebrows looks kind of strange. So, of course, in these books, I have my favorites. I have some favorite images that really catch my eye, but I just like, I guess I like order. I don't know why, but I just like doing the images in these books in order because I feel like I can keep track of my completion easier that way. As if I would just color random images and then kind of lose track of the number that I have already done in those. So yeah. Eh, come on. I think there's a nice variety of different characters. Also, some of them are more simple, some of them are more detailed. So yeah, that was tome six of Le Grand Classique. Then tome seven of Le Grand Classique. And let's start with the solutions here. Eh, is it in frame like that? This is so pretty. I'm already looking forward to this. Even though <laughs> I have to uh, color a lot more in those first. Because actually I'm not really limiting myself to the first tome. I, did, I think I did do the most images in the first tome. Simply because it's the first in the series. But, you know... You can, you can always just pick another one from the stack and say, oh, today I'm going to do an image in the third tome. And the other day you're doing an image of the fifth tome. So I'm not really doing the tomes in order as they were released, but the images within a tome I like to do in order. Because I'm just like that. <laughs> I don't know why. Some images are really, really dark. I might uh, think about using lighter colors, even though I don't like uh, looking at the solutions before I start an image. I actually prefer to go in blind. So also, the last one of the Disney ones in this stack is Tome 8. Do, 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 do. Here we start. So I think these are all of the... Uh, books of the main series, Le Grand Classique. I haven't gotten any of the, how do you pronounce them? Tron Lol, Tron Loel, I'm not sure. But the ones where you um, see one picture, you see the lines of a picture, and uh, when you start coloring it, it actually turns into another one. It's an optical illusion. I haven't gotten any of those yet because I'm not too interested, because the lines... Um, bother me a little that well actually if i would also color in them with acrylic colors i could just paint over them but i just think that right now i really have enough of these books and i really have to color more in those to justify buying even more 
On the other hand side, do I really need justifications? No, not really. <laughs> I buy coloring books when I feel like buying them and I only started coloring in uh, November of the last year in some somehow in somewhere in the mid of November. So all the hauls that I'm doing right now is basically just catching up with all the beautiful coloring books that have been released so far. So this one is the Fleur Coloriage Mystère. So it is focused solely on flowers. I'm going to show you the solutions as before. Now these are really nice and colorful. Some of them, eh, let me frame it like this. Some of them are more detailed, like this one. I think it's detailed. And others are more simple. Oh, look at that one, that's beautiful. And I love flowers, I love nature. I think these are going to look pretty, really, really pretty with acrylic paint. Also, there are some with people involved, but the main focus is always the flower. Very pretty. I really like this one with the cat. Oh, I'm giving myself so much work, <laughs> but it's an enjoyable piece of work. And the last page, another one with a cat. Very cute. The Fleur one from the Coloriage Mystery series. Then I have the Forêt du Monde, Forests of the World. And now this one some images look a little chaotic if i dare say that also in the solutions they are showing the lines i think this is the first book and as far as i know the only one that actually shows the lines that are visible in your completed image if you do not color it with an opaque medium like acrylic paint so that's interesting because you know the images they just look better without those lines but for this book they made a change and actually showed them that's actually more honest you know because when you see the finished image without the lines it's just not the same um that then your result when you color it like with water-based um markers and you still see the lines through so i like that they kind of changed it for this book but yeah very very pretty nature themed i mean i'm curious to see how how they're going to turn out because some of them don't have that much detail but we'll see about that also a lot of them have uh, a very varied color palette so that's probably going to involve a lot of color mixing to get all the greens right but nonetheless a beautiful book Forêt du Monde. now next is topic so these has tropical image oh what is this <gasps> no what happened here oh it's actually not that bad there's just a little little dent here everything's fine no reason for panic <laughs> so here we have tropical images mmm yummy I actually have no idea what this is or what it tastes like but it looks yummy so also images with, with uh, a varying degree of detail oh this is really pretty so, for example, this is pretty simple, but others are pretty detailed. This looks rather detailed. Oh, this is also very nice. I love the color palette of this one. Those are going to be some very relaxing hours. <laughs> days weeks months 
I mean, let's be let's be honest, years that it's going to take to finish all these images. Is it realistic to think you can finish them all? I think it is. If you have enough dedication for this hobby, I hope I have because these books are so beautiful. And the next one is the Chat Mystère, so Mysterious Cats. So this book is, of course, full of cats. I love cats. Cats are so cute. I have no pets, though. Because I work and, you know, I don't want to... Somehow I think it's a little... Even though cats are animals that you can leave alone, I still feel like, um, you know, I live alone and the cat would be completely alone when I'm working. And even though they sleep for the majority of the day, I just don't... It, it doesn't feel right to me to have a pet and then don't really have as much time as you should have for for an animal, you know. It's a living, thinking, feeling creature, and it deserves a nice and loving relationship with its owner. And I just don't feel like I could provide that. So my love for cats is usually expressed by looking at cute cat videos or petting cats that I come across on the street. I live in a very rural area, so there are actually a lot of cats that you randomly encounter when walking around. So I always stop to pet them a little. Now they all have very different personalities. Some are really eager to be petted. Some just, they see you and they run away. <laughs> but yeah, lovely cats. Also, this is, this, this, where is the cat? This is probably a search the cat. Is, is it this? Probably. <laughs> so yeah, mysterious cats. <sighs> okay, uh, this is a long haul. I expect this to be a lot shorter because uh, I didn't flip through some of the books. But yeah, here we are at uh, 20 minutes. So this is the Animo. Les Animaux Français. <laughs> um, another book full of animals. Ooh, I like this one. Oh, very cute. Another cat. So far, I haven't noticed any doubles. Like, even though there are so many of these books, there are no... Oh, a husky, very nice. There are no images that are actually appearing in another volume. So I really appreciate that they... You're, you're not getting any doubles, like a hundred images, and it's a hundred unique images. At least, as far as I have noticed. Oh, I love owls. Oh, the raccoon. Wait, this seems familiar. That might be a double. Or that's just me, because there was some other fox in another book. Oh, the tiger is really pretty. So yeah, this is the animal. Then, we're almost through. Petit animal mignon. Maybe baby animals, I'm not sure, my French is bad, but another animal one. Oh, and this starts off so beautiful. Oh, these are so pretty. They also seem more detailed than some of the other images. This is also very cute. Baby animals. I really have to start in this one right away. These images are so cute and pretty. Also a wide variety of animals. I said, and then I flipped through <laughs> all, all whales. Is this a dolphin? A pink dolphin? I'm not sure. I really don't know much about all the different species of animals, I have to admit. Oh, now these are all different kinds of jellyfish. Okay. Interesting. Oh, little seahorse. Very cute. A 
baby penguins baby owls so cute oh my god this reminds me of isn't this i think we have a double do we no not really here the head is or could it be i'm not sure i can't tell ah. but you know even even if it's very similar i don't mind still gonna be a nice relaxing coloring session and actually i forgot there is another disney coloring book hidden the very last one of this haul it's the uh, <clears throat> creature fantastique sorry french people uh i'm trying my best <laughs> so basically this has all non-human characters of the disney movies And I really, really want all of those Disney coloring books. As I said, the the uh, Optical Illusions one are currently not a priority. I really like this one. This is this has a super beautiful uh, color combination. It has so such a huge color palette. I mean, a lot of a lot of those images have huge color palettes. So I probably have to mix a lot of colors here. I mean, I already have quite a variety of acrylic paint. Um, the store I'm working at actually gives out coupons, like when you have reached a certain amount of sales or when uh, it's your birthday month, they give out coupons. So basically, I am getting um, all of my acrylic paints through coupons and don't pay anything, which is really nice. It's really going to... Wow, these are so pretty and detailed. Also this one. Also, these ones, all of them, <laughs> are so pretty. So, yeah. Um, that was my haul. I think that was my longest haul so far. 34 books. And, yeah, it's not going to be my last haul. I already know that. There are still uh, quite a few books on my wish list. Especially um, by Coco Wayo. I don't have a lot of Coco Wayo books. And they are so beautiful. So yeah, but for the month of February, that was it. That was all the coloring books that I've gotten. And uh, if you made it all through the end, thank you so much for watching. I hope you are having a great day and maybe see you in the next one. Bye.